video, I will guide you through the process of uh, getting assignment 01.5 using HTML to structure text done. Uh, this assignment is uh, one of the very first most basic assignments uh, for this class. Uh, hopefully by now you have already installed Atom and it's working. You can stage stories and or uh, files and uh, commit them to your GitHub by which I also hope that you have your GitHub repository already done and ready to accept. So far we have created eight blank folders, week one through week eight. We are on week one currently. Uh, your site will continue to change and grow. Um, and uh, at this point also I'll, I'll be referring to parts of the uh, reading assignment which are going to be lessons one and two in the uh, Shea How book. Uh, be sure to read these two first lessons, building your first web page and getting to know HTML. You don't have to necessarily do the assignment or rather the work and exercises described in the lessons, but they will always help. You can, you have almost unlimited space in your GitHub account to save uh, files and save uh, practice exercises. Your GitHub uh, will be yours for as long as there is a GitHub. So I would go for it. Okay, so going back to the assignment. Um, the project will allow you to practice your newfound HTML skills described on lessons one and two, as I just said. And you're going to structure text using HTML elements. Uh, you'll produce uh, an HTML5 web page that's going to look very much like this PDF that's attached up here. If I click on this, my browser will show it to me. It's, I think, uh, supposed to be three or four pages, but it may be five. And uh, your final product will not look like this in page format. But what I want you to do is figure out that you have a header that's large at the beginning. That's your header one, as described in, uh, in the lesson. There may be a header two. It looks just like header one, except it's smaller. There's a link here. This one actually will take you, or it was supposed to take you, to the original uh, script of this uh, paper, but I think that that's long gone. It's been long gone to history. If you find uh, where this is supposed to be, let me know. I think I can find it on archive.org. The story then, which is, um, it comes from time immemorial, I think is from 1999. Uh, it's a story of uh, Steve Jobs and Wozniak and, uh, and then, of course, Bill Gates and all the, the pirates of the uh, Silicon Valley. Uh, these are broken up into paragraphs. Uh, you should have already read about the paragraph mark by now, and I'm sure I've described it as well. There's some bold items which are strong in the uh, course of coding. There are some bullet items. Uh, there are some italics, which are actually emphases. There are additional headers. Um, it sounds like a lot, but really it's not. This is sort of a, you know, just get familiar with how you're going to be uh, laying out your spread. Uh, going back to the assignment, I have also attached a, at this text file on the step-by-step -step directions so that you don't have to necessarily copy anything from the PDF, which can be tricky. This is the text that's in the PDF, uh, and it may look like it doesn't fit here because it's just raw text. And in order to copy this and get it to work for you, it might be better to look at the raw version. I'll click the raw button on GitHub. And uh, then here you can either press Control A on a PC or Command A on a Mac, and that will select all, and you can copy it. Let me set up my workspace before I copy it, though, because you will be copying and pasting this uh, to your text editor, but you're going to save this new file as index.html in your week one folder. I'll consult my week one folder in Atom. It's got the index file that we created. It's blank. So should I just copy and paste all this text? Well, we really need to uh, get the file ready for coding. It's described in lesson one, I do believe. I've also added a link and this course will be littered with links uh, that can help you along the way. Your document should at minimum include the following basic elements, HTML, head, title, body, H1, P, UL, and LI. So that's the HTML tag at the very top. The head that also goes to the top describes the document. 
title tells us what this uh, document is called, the body which contains all most of the code, the header one, the uh, paragraph mark, which is going to be throughout the document, an unordered list, and then a list items that belong to that list. I also have this link that will take you to W3 Schools. It's got the uh, quick HTML element reference. It talks about all, I think, all of the elements that are uh, required for the assignment, talking about what the HTML is, what doc type is, head, title, body, etc. The header one through six. And uh, I would definitely recommend that you take a look at W3 Schools and uh, get acquainted with uh, what it's got to offer. Because it's not just about HTML, it will also describe CSS fully, which we will be using in this course, as well as JavaScript, which we have a whole book about, but W3 Schools has everything defined as well. Later on for your other classes, SQL, Python, PHP, uh, Bootstrap tutorial, which is also mostly HTML as a product uh, by Twitter that is uh, very popular on the internet, and way lots more tutorials that I will not get into right now. Let me go back to where I was. And, uh, and okay, so here, if you need more information about the HTML, H1, P, these are the ones described in the, um, in the assignment, uh, you can get them from here. They're definitely all in your book as well. Um, finally, well, I closed that, I didn't want to. I will open it again, the text file. Um, I also have a notation here that, that you can find lots of useful information at, at W3 Schools, the uh, site I was just describing. If you click on this link, this is the, the introduction to the HTML tutorial, and a very important document is given to you here. This is a gift wrapped uh, present. This is a, an example of a web page which you can, you should really bookmark this, uh, this uh, site for the remainder of this course because rather than having to know that you have to do a doc type and they have to declare HTML, that every page should have a head, etc., you can just copy this text. I'm going to click on Try It Yourself, which is an editor that's very much like CodePen, except you can't save stuff here. I will select all of this text and copy it. And then uh, when I go back to my Atom, I can paste it. This now is a valid HTML page. Uh, it's got a doc type, it's got a page title, uh, and it's got a header one and a paragraph, which we will use right away because this document uh, that we're working with will look like that. Let me open up the document again, the PDF. It's got in the beginning with the command line. Uh, I'm going to give this uh, page a title, so I'll replace the words page title with the command line. You can call it whatever you want, whatever you'd like, as long as it's not called sample web page title. And then I think now it would be okay to start to look at the rest of the text. And that is in my, in my gist here. I'll look at the raw again, press command A on my Mac, control A in the PC, and then command C to copy. Control C on a PC, you can right click and copy as well. And then take it back to Atom. I have a body that will later have lots of tags. I could choose to keep this tag, these tags, but uh, maybe I'll keep the header one uh, for now. I'll delete the second line on line nine, give myself a little bit of space, and then Control V or Command V on a Mac and get all that text in. If this text is kind of hard to follow because it's too long, remember this uh, raw file does not have any line feeds, I can uh, view my uh, my window in a different way. I'll toggle the soft wrap so that rather than having a line like line 15 here that's so long that it actually wraps around three times, uh, but I don't know what it says or where it ends or where it goes, I can view and say uh, toggle the soft wrap so that then all the content that would extend all the way to the right side of the monitor is all presented as one line, line 15. HTML is very forgiving, so although it wraps around, although it has spaces, if I were to look at this file, if it were saved as such, file save, 
um, I'll open this. I'll right click on index and tell it to show it in the finder, reveal in finder on Windows, it will say in Explorer. And then I can double click to open it. And this is what my web page looks like. It's all of that text. It's got nothing in uh, the sense of design. We want it to look like this. This is what we got to work with. Fortunately, we're working at Atom, so at least we can see where the spaces for this whole thing should go. And uh, I'll start with the heading. This is the, uh, the text. In the beginning was the command line. It's the title of this piece. I can cut this and put it inside of the H1, the largest of the headers, and paste it. And now, have, now I have in the beginning was the command line. If I save this again and reload it on my browser, I can see that things are beginning to change. I have the title. I think I said that for this uh, byline, which is still pretty large on the document, I can use an H2. So I will open the tag h2 the assignment says to be sure to close the tags that's what it means that once you open up a tag you need to finish to, uh, uh, finish the line by closing it some of the uh, tags and uh, other items discussed in the lessons will tell you that they don't need to be closed such as images this assignment doesn't have images this assignment also doesn't have links yet so i'm not going to bother with the link for now, uh, and because as I revealed earlier, this links nowhere, I'll just get rid of it. Now I have my opening paragraph, which is always good to start with that paragraph and close it. You'll find throughout uh, the course of this class that I'm a lazy typist. So once I get this paragraph going and I see, oh no, I have a lot of paragraphs, I will always go back to copy and paste so i'm going to copy that paragraph mark and i'll start to add it at the beginning of every paragraph because it will be needing it then i'll paste it at the end with the uh, caveat that i do close it by adding that slash i'm not going to go through the whole document showing you where to go you'll need to figure out which items will need what i will tell you though that in that order unordered list although i added the paragraph here i'm jumping the gun because it's an unordered list and it really should take something else so rather than wasting time with that i'm going to save this again and from now on rather than showing you the process file save i will only be using the shortcut command s on a mac control s on a pc and see what that looks like i press and control r command r on a mac and it's showing me that i'm starting to get some of these tags uh working and i have paragraphs and i got to the item list at least for now you will be responsible for the rest of the text so that all of this makes sense and most importantly that it looks something like this format right now um, i have a couple of things that i can do that will complete this lesson at least on my part and that is that i have an italic uh, name here for the new york times and i have a bold item plus this unordered list uh, let's find the uh, italics for New York Times, I can press Command F or Control F on a PC and tell it to find the New York Times or at least New York and there it is. So the New York Times, I will declare this an emphasis. Uh, I used to be that you could do just an I for italic. That is being deprecated slowly but surely. So let's just do M for emphasis and uh, wrap it up finish close the tag otherwise the rest of the text will just stay italicized let me show you what that looks like i'll save this reload it on my browser and uh, this is what happens when you don't close it the new york times begins to be italicized and then everything else the rest of the page becomes italicized i'm going to zoom in a little bit so that i can read this uh, text a little bit better lots of italics okay so let's close the tag 
I'll save it, reload it, and now only the New York Times is italicized. So here is when I'm going to drop you off. I'm just going to put in this, the unordered list. I'll give myself a little space here. Declare that this is an unordered list, UL. Uh, that will then be followed by items. So the first item is going to be declared with an LI for a list item. And if I do recall correctly, the word item is old. Right. So I will add a strong tag, which used to be only the letter B for bold, but now we use strong and make sure that it closes. Otherwise, the same thing happens. Uh, I will find the end of the line, which is right after systems. And here is where the, uh, does the paragraph end? Does the list end? I think it's the listed end. So slash li and go to the next item. I'm pressing tab to give myself some space in here. I'll do an li again. This item will also be strong. And right after the colon, I'll close the strong. I could have put it a space and then close the strong, but then that space is just kind of wasted. And uh, it, the uh, HTML reader here in the, in the browser will ignore spacing uh, for the most part. And that will become more obvious as we start to work with more tags. I'll talk more about that as we move along. If you see any other words or any other parts of the document that you want to format differently on what you've learned in lesson one and two, please do so. I'll close that. Could I also just, uh, like I said, lazy typist. Can I just copy that and add it here to the item? Yes. Is there software that does this automatically? Yes, there is. However, here we're learning to code, so we really, I would really like you to type all of these things as we go along. Close the list with a slash. And then I'm just going to declare one more paragraph here. And then close the paragraph. Every document should really only have one main header. So I would not litter H1 throughout the uh, course of this paragraph, this uh, document rather. And uh, I would recommend very much that any secondary headers are H2 or less. Okay, so that's the beginning of the assignment. There's a whole bunch of text that you still need to take care of. Uh, read up on your book, this uh, uh, copyright symbol. I don't know what it's gonna look like. Let me save this again and reload. And uh, well, it's okay here, but a better practice than just, do you know how to get just a a, a copyright symbol on your keyboard maybe you do but a lot of people don't there are marks in the uh, uh, in HTML that will allow you to uh, to uh, display a copyright symbol W how about if you do w3 schools copyright HTML symbol there is a whole list of symbols and here are the codes. These codes uh, are HTML exclusive. They, uh, you can just drop them into the code so that rather than depending on the character, you can just denominate a number or more importantly, a simple tag. This would be ampersand copy semicolon would display a copyright sign. Uh, more on that in the next lessons. So now that I have uh, created uh, the uh, the document and I've got started uh, with the code, uh, please do tag the rest of the uh, document according to the PDF sample. And when you're done, you can always double click on the uh, on stage changes, uh, commit the changes so that they can be published. I will tell it that this is my first draft of week one. Make sure, I mean, your uh, 
comments are your comments uh, just you know make sure that they make sense to you and that they're class appropriate I will commit to the master and I look to see what's happened I'm able now to push one document I'll wait for that and um, hope that it gets there soon I'm gonna close this for now and head back to a blank page so that if I go to my web page I'm able to see that there's uh, changes made this is my first draft of week one it has been committed in the last few seconds and here is my index.html with my code when you turn in this assignment I need to see your URL for the site and rather for this one page so it's going to be your your uh, repository name slash week zero one slash index.html I'll go here and I can just copy it from there that's what you're turning in this is what our page is looking like online it's uh, begun uh, I see that I left an unclosed uh, uh, tag somewhere so it's going to be up to you to figure out where it was that I did not close it I, I see that I, my unordered list gets started, but it's not properly closed because now everything is shifted to the right. So look out for that problem and debug it, please. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you on the next lesson.